Alright, so let's summarize what we just saw with the Desmos graphing calculator. The concept is this, is that uh, we, can, we, can learn, we can understand the end behavior of, of all odd degrees, uh, well let's first look at even, uh, even degrees. We can understand the end behavior of all even degree polynomials just by looking at the parabola for uh, uh, a quadratic equation, also known as a second degree polynomial. Now this is known as a second degree polynomial because the highest power of any variable is 2. Um, it's also known as an even degree polynomial because the highest power of any variable is an even number. Um, and we also say because we have a positive 1 out in front uh, that this guy has a positive leading coefficient. And uh, because of the positive leading coefficient we end up getting a graph that looks like a smiley face instead of a frowny face. You might recall from before that anytime we have uh, a uh, negative leading coefficient or a negative a value um, we will end up with a frowny face parabola. Now the green parabola is our model for all even degree polynomials for n behavior uh, that have positive leading coefficients. The red parabola is our model for all even degree polynomials, this guy's still even, uh, but that have a negative leading coefficient. So, this, th these two parabolas are our model for n behavior for all even degree polynomials. Now, let's take a look at odd degree polynomials. All right, so for odd degree polynomials, our model is this, the positive sloping line. Uh, there we go, the positive sloping line. So if we have uh, y equals 1 times x to the power of 1, uh, this guy is known as a first degree polynomial because of the 1. But since 1 is an odd number, we also call it an odd degree polynomial. And uh, since this guy has a positive leading coefficient, we used to know that as slope, um, then we get this positive sloping line. And it turns out that all odd degree polynomials with positive leading coefficients will look like this positive sloping line on the ends. In between, they'll have some curves and some zigzags. But on the ends, as we go to the right, they'll go up. And as we go to the left, they'll go down. That's the end behavior of the graph of odd degree polynomials with positive leading coefficients. Let's take a look at the negative leading coefficient when we have a graph like this red one um, it's because we have an equation y equals negative one times x to the first power again our, it's still a first degree polynomial and it's still an odd degree polynomial because uh, one is an odd number um, except this time we have a negative leading coefficient and for that reason with the negative leading coefficient we end up getting a negative sloping line like this red line here. Now this red line is represents the end behavior for all odd degree polynomials that have a negative leading coefficient. So every time we have a polynomial that has uh, uh, these things we will as we go to the left uh, the graph will go up and as we go to the right the graph will go down or the as we go to the as our x values become negative the y values will go to positive infinity and as our x values become positive uh, our y values will go to negative infinity Okay, so just for fun, let's try a few examples. Let's see if you can identify um, what these guys are. Here's example A, B, C, and D. 
Uh, right now, why don't you go ahead and pause the video, and with the paper in front of you and a pencil, um, I'd like you to try to identify, um, is this, uh, each for each one of these, is it an odd or an even degree polynomial that, that created the graph, and does it have a positive or a negative leading coefficient? Go ahead and hit pause, try to identify each one, and then in a moment I'll share with you what they, what they actually are. Okay, so hopefully you identified this first graph as the graph of a polynomial function that has, uh, let's see here, this will be, it looks a bit like a, a line, like, uh, like in lines uh, are uh, uh, first degree or odd po uh, degree polynomials. So because it looks a bit like a positive sloping line, um, this must be related to an odd degree polynomial. So odd degree. Um, and right now we're not worried about exactly what power, but it must be an odd power. And then it must have a positive leading coefficient. Positive leading coefficient. Okay. Now, don't get these mixed up. We're not talking about odd leading coefficients or positive degrees. Um, make sure that you have this nailed down. This might be a good thing to put on uh, flashcards to practice with. Um, okay, the next one here, this guy is, it looks a little bit like a quadratic, like a parabola, at least on the ends. So because it looks like an upward-facing uh, parabola, we'll call this a smiley face. Um, parabolas are based on y equals x squared, which is an even degree polynomial. So this must be based on an even degree polynomial. And, uh, and because it opens up, because it's a smiley face, um, it must have a positive leading coefficient. Next, this guy here looks like a downward facing parabola or a frowny face parabola. And since it's a frowny face parabola, um, let's see, parabolas again are even degree because y equals x squared. So I don't know exactly what power this guy is, but I know that the power it has an even, it's an even number. And then because it's frowny face, we'll call it a negative leading coefficient. Negative leading coefficient for this graph. And then finally, this last guy, it looks a bit like a negative sloping line. And again, uh, lines are uh, first degree polynomials. Linear equations are first degree polynomials. And so for that reason, um, and, and that one is an odd number, so for that reason, this must be an odd degree polynomial. And because it looks like a negative sloping line, we'll say that this guy must have a negative leading coefficient. All right, hopefully you got those right. Um, and uh, soon we'll be graphing these polynomials. And having this information will be very helpful in, uh, when we try to figure out, do we have the complete graph? And what, what do we do uh, with the, the part that, that seems to be missing?